you little everybody, this is Daniel bringing you guys another walkthrough of Patrick's lab. In this episode, we will be going through Sunday Scenario 1. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so as I just said, this is going to be subnetting, which means we are going to do calculations, which is sort of fun if you know how to do it. If you don't, well, it's a learning process, you know. Alright, so we have the network 192.168.100.0/24, and based on topology, we can see that we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 subnets. Um, okay, so 5 subnets. Um, and topology table, where's the topology table? I guess they're referring to this, but, um, we're basically going to have to borrow, um, five, I think, because the formula for calculating host bits is two to the power of n minus 2 equals the usable host bits pretty sure I spelled usable wrong but. so in this case we're gonna do 2 to the 5 minus 2 which is thir uh, 30 above the 25 we need but one below that would be 14 I believe which would not be enough okay so this creates eight subnets because 32 times 8 is 256 I guess another way is, is it, yeah this is the fastest way because you just add 2 and then divide 256 which is the total amount um, in, into 8 parts so it's 32 each or 30 usable we have um, 30 usable hosts. Um, okay. So our first subnet is going to be 192.168.100.0. Oh, sorry. Dot, um, 32. Because they already put the dot zero. But since they want us to list in binary, I will humor them and do just that. And for the second subnet, um, it's going to be 192.168.100.64. For the third subnet, it's going to be 192.168.100.96. Oops. And for the fourth subnet, it's going to be one. 192.168.100.128 Okay, and finally we're going to calculate the um, binary and decimal values in your subnet mask. So Oops Okay, so that's going to be three ones and five zeros and how I know this is because if you look at the digits we're messing around with here, the um, lowest one is in the 32 place and the highest one's in the 128 place. So naturally, the highest one's going to be one that has the 128 and a 32 bit as well as a 64 bit value all filled. And that is going to be a 255.255.255.224. Um, another way you could have figured that out is because um, since we're leaving five host bits alone, um, there's going to be three ones, but pretty simple stuff overall. Like I don't really see how this can be difficult unless this is like your first time subnetting. You're a little bit intimidated, but really there's not much to it. You just need to um make sure you understand what usable host bits are as opposed to just host bits. Because keep in mind that we need minus two here for the um 
let's say in the first subnet these two can't be used um it is 31 i believe okay here's why um the first one in any subnet first address in any subnet is going to be used for dhcp purposes and if you guys don't know what dhcp is that's basically something that automatically assigns ip addresses to um devices in the network um and this address which is the last address in any um network or yeah i guess network would be the best way to say it is um used for broadcast addressing so if you want to send out something to the entire subnet um, then you would use this address so as a result these two can't be used as host addresses obviously and that's why we have to subtract two um, but enough of that okay so basically all I have to do here I'm, I'm gonna do the first four as an example but I'm not gonna go through this entire table obviously um so the first subnet address is going to be 255.255.255.32 first usable hosts or i don't know this is a subnet address i guess it means network address okay and first usable host address 192.168.100.33 Last usable dot sixty two dot sixty two. Really, not much to it if you think about it. Is the um obviously broadcast address should not collide with the subnet address, or else you have a problem. You probably do not subtract an additional one. Just making sure it lines up. Overall, this isn't just like really that hard at least when we get to a variable link subnet masking this is gonna get like a little bit more tricky but honestly subnet masking isn't like the worst thing that happened in the world it's just slightly complicated if you don't understand how it works uh, yeah you guys notice might have noticed that i did not do the first or the zeroth subnet and that's because um is, uh, we're not using that as a subnet, I don't think. Or we are. So I guess I should record it then. <laughs> um, 30, one two ooh, 96 plus 32 128 okay sorry I just completely blanked out there okay so just this one to go I want to keep this for reference so after this we will be done with the subnet table I mean you guys could do it for practice but I mean honestly I, I, well I guess I don't have a problem with it if you want to have some more practice but honestly you know don't overthink this and you should do just fine alright so now we're done with that okay so Let's go ahead and go to R1. Um, interface into Gigabit Ethernet 00, zero and assign subnet 0, which is 100. It is You're going to put the first host bit because they want us to assign, if I move this, the first usable IP addresses to R1 so we're gonna go ahead and do that um, and by the way you always use the same subnet mask for all of them in case you guys didn't know ok 
Okay. And now we're gonna do Gigabit Ethernet zero 02. Zero 01, I mean. And if I can type correctly, that would also help greatly. Okay, so we are done with that. Um, all right, so we need to access the serial interface, which I believe is zero zero zero. Yes, it is. Um, okay. This is one two eight. One two nine me. And same. Okay, so it's already no shutted. And we will go ahead. Okay. Um actually we can't access R2. So I have no idea why they're telling us to do anything with R2 here, but I guess a documenting addressing a scheme kind of makes sense, but not really that. Um, and they even tell us here that you can only um, access these three. Everything else is pretty much locked, so. S3. Do you want to configure here? IP addressing. Okay, so let's go ahead and interface into VLAN one. And the command IP address one two dot one six eight one hundred dot second usable. Okay, so it's in a third network, which would be dot sixty four. So it'd be dot six six. Is no shut. All right, and finally configure IP addressing on PC four. That would be last usable. That might be a tricky one for you guys because um, you might expect it to be third usable, but for whatever reason they want you to do um, last usable. So if you're not getting the points for this one, that is probably the mistake you are making. Um, so this is going to be dot nine one two six. This is going to be dot two four four two two four. I mean, default gateway. Oh, you know, I just realized we forgot to configure default gateway, but on the um S3 boat, we'll go ahead and do that later. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, let's go. S3 exit uh, uh, 192.168.100. It's in the third network, so that's going to be dot six five. And with that, we should have gotten all the point. Oops, not reset, not reset. And yes, we have. So we are finished with this um, packet tracer lab. So if you guys like this video, definitely consider liking. If you want more, definitely consider subscribing. But once again, guys, I am Daniel, and I will see you guys in the next episode.